All right, just gonna show you real quick how to change your cabin air filter on a 2013 to 2021 WRX and STI. There's already plenty of videos on this, but I'm trying to get this new channel here established, so I figured I'd just throw up a real quick one. I'll put a link in the description uh, if you wanna get yourself one. So drop your uh, lid here, and then you have to depress this. You can squeeze those two pieces together and pop this arm off. I found I can do it one-handed like so just press in hard enough without breaking it and then that arm will detach you can press it up in there and then you got these little hooks here but this whole thing's flexible including that hook you got one on each side you just have to pull it in and down slightly that's what you're looking at there it's just these little arms that hook around the back side of this and this whole side as you can see is flexible so you just kind of kind of push it in and pull it down a millimeter or two until it clears same thing on both sides then it drops down and then right here's your cabin filter Looks like you squeeze these two together at the same time and then you can pull it out. And there she is and there's definitely leaves and crap in there. So yeah, you don't even have to worry about trying to pop that off the track back there. It'll just slide right out over the top there. And you see there's all kinds of crap in there. It is completely filled up so that's why we have almost no airflow. Clean any remaining debris in here including down in this blower motor here before you put in your new one. Put the new one in same orientation the old one came out which is like so but usually they have a little arrow there that shows you which side is up and just slide her back in well this one doesn't really seem to click in it just kind of sits there so and then you just get these arms back past here i would recommend especially if it's cold uh pressing those in and around so you don't risk snapping them off but you can see there i was able to just push it in no problem Pull your little arm back down. It looks like I gotta fish it out. <laughs> Snap her back on there and you're done. Well, looks like mine was never attached. So that's why it fell back up in there. But same scenario, you got this little hole here. It just snaps on this peg here. Exactly how this works down here. So I just gotta snap it back on. So the whole time we've had this car, as far as I'm aware, it's always just dropped down immediately as soon as you uh, release the latch here. And uh, I guess it's supposed to drop slow. So that must have never been attached the entire time we owned the vehicle. So now you know. Hey, maybe you get something out of this video. You don't out of the other ones after all. Anyways, that's how you do it. Pretty simple. Only takes about 60 seconds. So thanks for watching. Hope this helped you out.